Hi Leos, welcome back to my channel Answers by Divine. This is going to be for your mid-month March love reading for the sign of Leos. Leos mid-month love reading. Leos mid-month love reading. Three shuffles. One last shuffle. Mid-month of March Leos reading. Love reading of Leos. Okay. Sorry. For Leos mid-month. Mid month of March, Leo's love reading. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you see? Okay. Leos, let's draw another spread using another deck. Leos, mid month of March love reading. For Leos, mid month of March love reading. One last shuffle. Leos, mid month of March love reading. Leos, mid month of March love reading. Love reading, mid month of March. Love reading. Okay, so Leo's, let's get started. Before that, I just want to introduce this side will be your cards, your energy. This side will be whoever that you're dealing with, your partner or whoever that you're dealing with, their energy. This is you. This is them. Okay, let's get started. So for the first card, Judgment over here, some of you or many of you, Leo's, you might have done, you might have done, um, you might have not done. You might have uh, um, come to a uh, come to a closure. You might have come to a closure with whoever that you're dealing with over here. The judgment in upright position for you, and for your partner, they they seemingly seemingly look like they have moved on. They have moved on. Five of Pentacles, which is being left out in the cold, is in reverse. So your partner has also moved on. Um, energies can be interchangeable and apply accordingly to your situation. This is a card about coming out, healing, uh, coming out from despair. Alright, Five of Pentacles is about despair. So let's go into the clarification using the Judgment card again. Why is the Judgment card over here? Because of Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Alright, someone, you might have been released or someone released you. I mean, you might have been released by someone. Someone released you or you might have released someone over here. And this is the end. This is the closure. Judgment. This is the final verdict. Okay, there is an ending over here. It seems like there is an ending. There is a fallout. There is a final case close between you and someone. Might not necessarily be a um about the whole relationship. Maybe there is a, 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 a topic topic or a content that the both of you have come to a, a common consensus a common ground not necessarily be the end of a relationship but more so it can be because this is a judgment card it is a major arcana major arcana it is something that's important and highlighted over here okay for your partner why do they why were they in despair and how how is it that they came out from the despair they came out from the despair because of instability Right, there is some instability, not coming together, fallout over here. Right, so they came out of despair because of this four of ones being in reverse. Being in reverse, despair because this four of ones of stability. Um, uh, ones are also your hopes and your dreams. And this is like the pillar, the pillar of their life. 
the pillar, what could have been, what could have been, what could have strongly been for them or even for the both of you and for this relationship, right? This, it's not happening, it's not coming to formation for them. They were in despair at one point in time and now they have come out of despair. So the next card, what do we have? We have five of swords and three of wands over here in reverse for them. Yours would be, you will be the five of swords over here. So this is you looking back. Today, somehow, I look at this five of swords, not getting into conflict, but more like this person is looking back, wanting to talk about things, wanting to iron out shit. Right, wanting to iron out. A lot of things to iron out. This are communication. This person is looking back. It's like this person wants to talk about the differences and, and all that stuff. It's not going to be pleasant. It's not going to, be, going to be a very comfortable process to go through. But this person, which is you, this is your card. You are looking back, wanting to talk about it. You want to talk about it. How did it all end up this way? Right? And, <clears throat> excuse me. And your partner over here, three of ones in reverse, they no longer, they are no longer looking forward for anything. At least towards hopes and dreams, they no longer are carrying any hopes and dreams in the, either about their, their life or towards this love with you, right? I feel like generally this is them. Like it's somehow they just knew, they just knew this is a no turn back, no turning back. This is a case where there's no turning back for them or even for you or for the both of you in this relationship let's look at the clarification first over here the hermit clarifying the five of swords why are you, are you looking back wanting to wanting to resolve or sort out the differences talk about the differences and uh, between the both of you is because of the hermit the hermit here needs to find needs to be in peace needs to needs to rest in peace you want you are looking back because you want to rest you want to have a you want to be in you want to find peace within yourself right you want to find peace within yourself it's like you still have a, a lot of unspoken words here with you a lot of things unspoken yeah there might be differences they might not be pleasant but you just want to talk about it you want to speak your heart speak your mind and why is your partner here feeling that, like there is no turn back your fa your partner here feeling like there is no turn back because someone did something secretive over here and they knew if it's them they knew if it's them they they no longer, they no longer, there is a no, there's no turning back over here. There's no turning back over here. For whatever they have done to this relationship or to you, there's no turning back for them. They knew it. Either you gave them that vibe or they just knew you too well that, you know, they can't turn back anymore. Or sometimes if it's you, Leo, then it's something that uh, to them, they, they're not looking back anymore. They're not waiting for this anymore. It's like, no, no, it's not going to happen. If, if it's them... They jolly well knew what they have done. Who can they blame? Who can they blame but themselves? I feel it is more like them. It is more like them. Okay? And sorry. Over here. The next pair over here. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Cups in upright for your for your partner, whoever that you dealt with now or before, and Queen of Pentacles would be you, your energy. So the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse over here. You have lost you you have lost your investment. This is almost like I feel like saying, sorry, I might not go with the definition of the cross, but I just say what I feel like. You lost everything. You lost your investment. You lost all the care, all the concern that you gave. It's like in the past you was you were taking care of this person so much or you care. There's a lot of care coming from you, either in a visible way or in, in an invisible way, doesn't matter. But this pentacles here is about investment, investment of oneself. Queen of Pentacles, you lost your investment here. This is how you feel, how you look at things over here. While your partner is trying to figure themselves out. Your partner is trying to figure themselves out. This person down here is looking up. You know how it's like one person, someone is looking up and above into the sky, trying to figure out their life, trying to figure things out for themselves. I feel like this is them. I don't want to talk about options today. I don't want to talk about options today. I just feel like they are, they are trying to figure out themselves over here. What do they do from here? Where do they go from here? 
for you to clarify what is your investment about because you invested luckily lucky for you uh, Leos lucky for you your investment is just a page you invested in the past you have invested yourself and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here say you lost your investment thank God and lucky for you it was just a mean minimal investment that you had minimal like really bare minimal but even though so you still don't this is like Leo's, you never want to lose anything, even if it's the smallest, even if it's the smallest bet, okay? For them, for your partner, what are they figuring out? They're figuring out how to come out of this despair, how to come out of this depression. It is not easy for them to do whatever that they have done over here, especially for this. If they have done this in the past, they have done anything secretive or sneaky or anything that is unjust, unjust or injustice to this whole relationship or you, they're figuring out how do they come out of depression. They're figuring their life out. This is five of cups in reverse. So this is about depression and this is in reverse. One thing to come out of depression, right? They were so depressed at one point in time, not actually depression kind of mental mental depression but it somehow feel like you know they're going through some some despair um disappointment or whatsoever they're figuring out how do they how do they deal deal with this and do with this how do they come out the last pair over here okay which is you your card seven of pentacles is in reverse and your partner here is the two of cups seven of pentacles is you so, so this is you letting go this is you finally letting go and releasing because this is you no longer wanting to invest it's like you know you're here you are contemplating how much should you invest how far should you go should you go the extra amount this is like you know in reverse be like forget about it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna invest further and your partner here, the person whom you dealt with in the past or now or, or anything, Two of Cups over here. Let's see what this Two of Cups conjoin with later. Let's do this Seven of Pentacles in, in you. You have decided to move on. You have decided not to invest further, not to go any, do any extra stupid mal, any stupid mal over here. You just decided that you should just let it go and move ahead progress on your own progress on your own eight of wands in the upright position you have decided to not invest and progress on your own <sighs> well 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 okay so these two of cups which is your your partner whoever that you're dealing with leos whoever that you're dealing with is this two of cups they still hold feelings they still they still love, they still love, this is a card of love, they still have this, this commitment, in fact, actually it is a commitment to this Six of Cups, someone whom they had a long, long past with, a long, long past, a lot of history, a lot of memories with, which didn't work out, that's why it was in reverse, they still hold on to the cups, it's like, engagement engagement ring they still hold on to the engagement ring even though for some of you you might no longer be together anymore but for some of you who are still together despite all of that that had happened in their heart in their heart they still hold it close to them they still hold it close to them in their heart okay all the long time long journey that the both of you had together even though at the end it didn't work out Let's look at the bottom of the deck, your overall general energy from both spread. What does it say? So the bottom of the deck for you is the Ace of Pentacles. You have to restart your life all over again. You have, re you have to restart all your, li your life all over again. Because this is a card about stability in a love reading. Ace of Pentacles. So you, in order to put it back to an upright position, upright position, Right, you have to restart all over again. It's almost like you know your investment didn't work out. I mean, when I say investment, I don't mean to say literally, um, um, the dollar and cents, but it's really your time, your effort, your energy, 
your stability over here you have to work on yourself all over again build your life your love life reset reset it to zero all over again redo this the the other bottom of the deck is the five of sword in upright position so this is all the communication being blocked it could be you blocking them out or them blocking you from speaking with them somehow at this point in time or in the recent past all right so there is there seem to be no communication right now there's no communication right now communication seem to not happen block or not all right that's secondary but communication don't look like it is happening over here with the five of swords it is not happening not happening at all As for your partner, as for your partner, uh, the bottom of the deck here is the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. This person looks like this person is going backward. All right. In from where I come from, this direction is going backward. Is this is looking back, going back. This is not oncoming. This is not an oncoming from where I come from. But any which way, either either for some of you. So there are two groups of you, right? First group. One of your partner might be wanting to come back because any which way they still hold it close to their heart. Two of cups, they still hold it close to their heart about you or about this relationship. It is still close to their heart. Some of them they're gonna come back to you, some of them they're just gonna carry on and forward their life. Forward their life. This is ones are about your goal, your dream, your hopes, your desire. Alright, fire energy, they're going to achieve carrying carrying on with their life. The next bottom of the deck from the second spread is actually the Queen of Pentacles. So at this point in time, at this point in time, this feels like they're unsure. They're unsure what do they do. Can they come back? Can they come back to offer you the stability again? Can they? Because if the Queen of Pentacles is in upright position, this Queen is sure that she has enough love to give. She has stability to offer to this to this what we call potentially um, a potential marriage, a potential relationship. But this Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. She's not sure how, how far can she provide for this setting. For this current setting right now, for this current environment, for this current state of the situation of the relationship, she doesn't know. She's unclear. How 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 much can she do? Is she able? To, is she able to make it? This night for the first group, this night might be coming back with uncertainty, but they just want to come back because it still holds close to them in their heart. Okay, for the second group, for those of them. Who are dealing with the second group for those of you who are dealing with anyone who's gone and gone for good i mean this is also them they have a lot to work on themselves they have a lot to work on themselves first of all they need to be sure of themselves be it for their future partner whoever that they're going to deal with they need they need to be be sure about themselves the queen of pentacles do they have anything to give to whoever they want to be with be it you or someone else you know what i will say good luck to them until they are sure this person is so fickle minded. They just or it's just so immature. They can't make up their mind. It's almost like come on, you are an, you are actually you are already an adult. You can't even fix your mind, make up your mind and decide for your life. Like work on your life. Grow up, man. Grow up. This is your partner, I would say to them. This looks like whoa. I do not know how should I title your video, man, Leos. Any which way I will think about it, but I hope you enjoyed the messages and it helped you through somehow. Okay, um, till then, I will see you again, Leos. Take care and ciao. Bye.